Hello, and welcome to my first development video. This summer, I've decided to work on a top-down 2D RPG. Right now, I'm still doing some basic engine work. Recently, however, I've put together something that I think is really cool. A simple 2D lighting engine that should add a lot of character to the feel of the game. So, today we'll take a look at that and see how it looks and performs. Right now we're looking at a small testing map I've put together for the purposes of this video. It shows a very simple desert scene with a double ring of pillars and a moderate amount of ambient light. However, right now there are two problems. First off, there's no real sense of depth. Depth is crucial in most 2D games because a scene without contrast is graphically uninteresting. Additionally, the pillars do not stand out from the map, and they're not ide immediately identifiable. So the scene is not navigable because the player can't find his way through it. So, let's see what happens when we add a single point light. There's an immediate improvement. Pillars now block the light, giving the pillars a greater sense of depth and allowing us to see more easily what they are. Also, as the light moves, the focus of the scene moves with it, giving it a nice dynamic feel. However, the light really doesn't stand out all that much. It doesn't give the scene enough contrast yet. So, let's see what happens when we modify the ambient light. When we make the light brighter, like so, it actually makes the scene look worse because the light has less contrast and adds less uh, tone to the scene. However, when we make the scene darker, the mood immediately becomes much more intense and focused, and the light has a much greater sense of character. So, let's add a couple more lights. So, the lights blend together nicely, allowing the projections to blend in a realistic manner. Also, it creates a more complex and dynamic look, as there are multiple points of focus in the scene. Let's get a better look at the scene right now. So, let's see what happens when we add some more lights. Now the scene is starting to really come together in the way that it looks. It's really too chaotic to work as a real map, but the visual itself is quite nice. There's a lot of moodiness here, and you can do some interesting things with a dark dungeon, for example. However, the last thing I'd like to demonstrate about my lighting engine is how fast it is. Currently, it's not hardware accelerated. All computation is done on the CPU. However, the method I use to project the lights performs quite well. Let's see what happens when I add, say, a ton of lights. So, I think a bit more. And, yeah, there's no stuttering whatsoever. The frame is consistently steady, and everything looks good. So, yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching. As I make more progress and implement new features, I'm planning on making more videos like this in the future, so stay tuned!